Shashi, sir. A very good afternoon to all the guests and participants. Let me acknowledge the presence of our worthy ma'am principal in her absentia, Professor Atima Sharma Divedi, eminent speaker and scientist, Dr. T. Pavan Kumar, coordinators and members IIC from our five multi institutions, GHG Institution for Law, Ludhiana, JCDAV College, Dasua, LN College of Technology Excellence, Bhopal, IITM College of Science, Arts and Commerce, Haryana, Government College, Roper. So it is a matter of great pride for us that select us as their mentor to guide them on the aspects of innovation and entrepreneurship. I, Dr. Narinder Jitkaur, IPR Activity Coordinator, IIC, welcome you all on behalf of whole KMV family on this day one of workshop on IPR and IP management efforts organized by IIC in collaboration with PG Department of Chemistry and IQ Nyama Vidyale for our Menti institutions. Kanyama Vidyale, the autonomous and heritage institution is celebrated for its colossal contribution to women education across three centuries of its glorious existence. A multi-faculty postgraduate pioneer institution, KMV, has been accredited A grade by UGC NAC, awarded the status of college with potential for excellence, star college status by DBT Government of India, top national rankings as per India Today survey, ranked number one autonomous college in Punjab by Outlook magazine for the last three consecutive years. It ceaselessly strives to open up new vistas of learning and to emancipate, enlighten, and empower women. KMV is working continuously to foster innovative and entrepreneurial culture among students and promoting innovation and entrepreneurship is at the core of every activity performed by various departments. KMV IIC is performing well in terms of conducting innovation and entrepreneurship activities and has successfully developed the support system and competencies to drive the campus INE ecosystem efficient. It is a matter of great honor that Ministry of Education Innovation Cell Government of India has recognized KMV as a high performing IIC institution star rating of 4.5 to act as mentor to the IIC institutions, those are in need of guidance and support. So KMB is among the top 155 institutions, including universities, engineering colleges, and management institutes all over the country to be selected as mentor institute as a part of mentor mentee program of MOE's Innovation Cell Government of India. This training program will help KMB and its mentee institutions to facilitate knowledge exchange and resource mobilization between institutions by offering inter-institutional collaboration. KMV has provided a breeding ground for student startups with the continuous motivation, guidance, and support of the principal and KMV IIC team. Many students have started their own ventures, be it a fashion boutique, a diet clinic, nutritive foods, manufacturing, or video editing. So it is one of the very few institutions all over the country to be conferred 4.5 and four gold stars that is highest rating in the country by Ministry of Education, Government of India. So I would like to now invite uh, Dr. Swati to introduce and um, uh, welcome Dr. T. Pravan Kumar, scientist from Bhupaneshwar, uh, Odisha. Oh. A very good afternoon to one and all. I feel elated to welcome and introduce the speaker of the day, Dr. T. Pavan Kumar, who is going to talk about IPR and IP management. Dr. Kumar is leading as senior scientist in CSIR Institute of Minerals and Materials Technology, Bhubaneswar. He did his doctorate from Osmania University in 2011. He was a postdoctoral fellow in North Dakota State University, USA in 2015. He was also working as Inspire faculty from 2012 to 2017 
as a Serb young scientist in 2015 and as Telangana young scientist. He has total of 34 patents into his credits, out of which 19 are granted, 12 are published, and three have been filed. He has more than 22 publications in national and international peer review journals. He has delivered more than 200 lectures at various organizations on innovation and IPR. He is also the lifetime member of numerous agencies, organizations like Indian Science Congress, Indian Society of Chemists and Biologists, Material Research Society of India. Dr. Kumar, it gives us immense pleasure to have you eagerly waiting to hear you. So we welcome you, sir, and the platform is yours now. Over to you, thank sir. You, thank you, Dr. Swati, for your detailed introduction. And I'm happy to know about uh, the performance and the progress of Tanya Mahavidyalaya Jalandhar. And uh, my congratulations to uh, the college for being a mentor institute to many other institutes helping strengthening the innovation ecosystem of our country. And my special appreciations to Dr. Narendra Kaur, who has been instrumental and also she was in regular contact with me. Uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, she could able to finally make this program to happen. And many thanks to you also for inviting me uh, uh, to this program. And I hope... Uh, Sir, and the pleasure is ours. And, Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. And uh, we have three programs. program. Uh, today will be the first lecture on all about IPR. We will be telling you to the concepts of IPR and what is called innovation. It's a very basic and uh, um, basic details about IPR. Tomorrow we'll be having another session uh, which is focusing on patents. And the third session will be on patent filing process. And I, I feel that many of the participants present here are uh, faculties and maybe some research scholars and some other students. And please uh, feel free to raise any kind of queries. Better we make uh, these sessions as much interactive as possible. So don't consider me as a guest today. Consider me as uh, one of the participants among you so that we make a very, very fruitful uh, uh, discussion. With this, uh, once again, I really appreciate uh, the efforts of the college and also my, my respect goes to uh, Professor Atima Sharma, principal, and Dr. Rashmi Sharma, president, KMV IIC, and Dr. Manju Sani, head PG department of chemistry. I am also from chemistry department and always I feel very happy uh, to see uh, the people from chemistry background organizing IP programs. So with this, uh, I'll just stop here and then I'll share my screen. And I, what I feel is I, I'll just stop my video because there could be some technical glitch. Uh, yes, sir, no I'll problem. I'll just stop my yes, video. Yes, sir, no problem. Huh? no problem. And I'll just share my screen. I hope the screen is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So good afternoon to all. Uh, this session will be on all about IPRs. And I'll show you some aspects by which you can realize the importance and impact of IPRs for academic as well as academic and as well as research sectors. So this is the layout. We'll start with some introductory aspects, then importance of IPR. More importantly, we'll discuss on the different types of intellectual property rights. Then the source of these IPRs is nothing but the creativity and its impact. Finally, we end up our session with some examples and takeaway messages. So this would be the um, broad outline. And of course, this part uh, Dr. Swati has covered uh, in detail, but for sake of the students or researchers present here, I generally keep these two or three slides. So these are the places uh, um, uh, at which I am current with, uh, with my regular association with CSR IMMT. 
we have introduced some courses on ipr at isr berampur and also icc mumbai odisha campus and these are the organizations or institutions from where i got my education training and also working experience both in chemistry as well as intellectual property rights and then this slide is a reflection of our contribution but of course at the uh, left hand side part of this slide is a usual reflection so slide from any visible it's stuck not visible slide only oh no no sir it is visible yes sir yes, i think it's uh, now sir uh, uh, actually you have shared your ppt uh, yes yes so it is it is the first slide oh now it is only first slide yes sir yes sir is it moving now i'm changing. no sir no sir no sir you have to share a Uh, share it again. Okay, okay. Now is it visible now? Yes, sir. This is the first slide. Is it moving? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it is moving. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe it seems that there is some technical issue. Okay, right. So this is the layout. introduction then importance of ip then uh, different types of intellectual property rights that the source of ip is nothing but the creativity or ideas uh, generating ideas and their impact we'll see and some examples and finally we end up our session with some take away messages and these are like any anyway i told you we have introduced some courses at isr berampur and also icit mumbai odisha campus and these are the places from where i got my education training and also working experience both in chemistry and ip and this slide i i especially uh, wanted to show it here for the benefit of all faculties and researchers the left hand side part is a reflection of contributions from any kind of academicians or researchers because most of us we always try to publish our work in some decent journals with high impact and most of us do not realize the importance of ipr maybe we were not nurtured or it was not part of our training or maybe we are not aware of but believe me uh, even uh, sir uh, sorry uh, to interrupt you sir sorry again not you. moving uh, no 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 sir actually uh, our the ma'am principal has joined so uh, um, I... dr narinder i think yes. let, let the let the presentation continue please don't interrupt okay. me okay sir okay i'll, I'll be listening okay. thank you okay okay ma'am thank you so much Yeah, hello, yes. madam. Good afternoon. Uh, Good afternoon, ji. I am sorry. I mean, I, I was with the students. So you kindly continue. We will uh, get in touch later. After. Fine, madam. Thank you. Thank you. So here, uh, right hand part. I just uh, wanted to brief you. Um, until I completed my PhD, even I was not aware of IP. Though terminologies I knew, what is called patent, what is called intellectual property. Apart from that. nothing else i know neither i know or nor our phd supervisor or our research teams we are not aware of after phd there was telangana andhra issue going on at our place so our thesis submission was getting delayed so meanwhile as a stop after i joined after 3 months i realized the importance of ip for missions and I started. Again, I joined IES in the faculty, and we started. We tried to integrate IP learning research practices. With those efforts, now we were able to file our thirty-four, thirty-five papers. That means it was lack of awareness or lack of uh, training or nurturing from the Sun Pharma, one of the biggest pharma industry in our country. But when we when we Try to apply those patents. Our intention was only to have some numbers in our CV. So whenever I give I give my profile to someone, I, I, there should be some numbers. That was our intention. But later on, that that itself turned into a great benefit. So with this, now let us uh, move into the concepts of IPR. So when you look into IPR at a very first instance, it appears to be so complex in nature. because it deals with protection trademark brand patent invention copyright licensing infringement secrets law industrial so many things i am from science background or i am from math i am a mathematician i am a physician i am a biologist but how come industry protection 
can laugh but believe me if you can try to understand these concepts in a systematic manner i think ipr is a very very easy subject to learn and simple subject to practice coming to the definition given by wipo it reads like this intellectual property refers to creations of the mind such as inventions literary and artistic works symbols names images and designs that are used in commerce whenever the term commerce comes it has either direct or indirect relevance to making some business or making some profits so in simple terms it is nothing but the creation of human mind now when we call it as a property always we need to compare it with other kinds of properties of course there are several kind uh, movable property immovable property which can be classified as tangible form of property ip is generally called as intangible form of property because the physical feel with this kind of property but when you compare like any other property ip can be sold it can be licensed it can be mortgaged it can be gifted you, whatever you wish you can do only for limited period of time this is the greatest limitation with respect to other kinds when you compare with other kinds of properties and as an intangible property ip brings economic rights to the creators it can be used for commercial exploitation it can be used to generate capital expenditure and also very much helpful for technology transfer overall it can serve as a main pillar for cultural development cultural development of an organization maybe of a society or of a nation at large if you look at the countries which we call them as developed nations or superpowers ip played a very very important role in their development in their economic as well as cultural development so therefore ip as a property can be sold can be bought can be leased or rented can pass under a will and it can also be assigned and in once again to summarize it is nothing but the hum, uh, creation of human mind so we call it as intellectual property the rights given to the creators are the exclusive rights given by statutes always these are attended with some limitations and exceptions two major limitations are it is time bound if you have a bangla now you might be enjoying earlier to you your earlier generations have enjoyed it after you your next generations may enjoy but ip is not like that the term of enjoyment will be for a limited period and also these rights are territorial in nature now like ipr so here i gave a flow chart intellectual property is broadly divided into two types one is copyright the other one is industrial property again industrial property it is divided into two different categories based on information and based on innovation trademarks and genre information category whereas patents trade secrets and industrial designs comes under innovation category rights of the author and rights of the performer are on the left hand side i try to show you these different types of ips with an example each or masters coca cola and harry potter or the patent of uh, the technical features of a mobile phone the design or appearance of the mobile in industrial design so likewise these are the different types of ips all these ips are an outcome of thought process which is nothing but an idea so therefore when we feel that we have some property we own some right over our property and since this property we call it as intellectual property plus rights everything starts with an right is the source of all these contributions so therefore if you have an idea if it leads to expression then you may get a copyright idea leading to invention or innovation you may get a patent idea if it leads to quality and identity then you may get a trademark and idea if it leads to appearance here appearance in the sense only appearance then you may get a industrial design 
an idea if you can able to maintain it as a secret then you may get you may get a trade secret once again i try to show you all these different types of ips evolving from idea with example with an example and here is the duration of production i mentioned that ip is or ip rights are temporary for limited period of time so therefore patents are generally protected for 20 years renewal is not possible but in case of orphan drugs there is a possibility of 6 years extension trademarks and designs anywhere between 6 to 10 years but they can be renewable copyright usually until 60 years after the death of the owner of the copyright so likewise a each and every different type of ip has a specific time period and now if you look into this example someone has conceived an idea of developing a mobile phone it might have taken more than more than few years for them to succeed but these are the different stages from idea to the product in product used in the market and in all these stages different kinds of ips are there maybe in the form of a copyright maybe in the form of a patent maybe a trademark maybe a design but yes they are there so therefore whatever products or whatever brands that you see in the market today they are successful outcomes of a potential idea so therefore from here let us look into these different types of ips taking them individually let us start with trademark trademark is a name of an enterprise or a mark capable of being represented graphically distinguishing the goods or services of one person to those of others maybe a person or maybe a company they are called as trademarks a trademark can be a sign or a word letter number drawing picture emblem colors or combinations shapes of goods graphic representations or packaging or any any of these above combinations which are applied to an article or to a product or to a service for example uh, kanya mahavidyalaya has got its logo that is that reflects your identity so that can go as a trademark you can register your logo as a trademark so likewise if we are about 70 or 80 people here our names are different that is how we are we are identified right but if there are two people with same name initials might be different if they have same initials then you may call you may call you no know, he is from telangana he is from andhra or he is from delhi or he is from goa something kind of so a kind of idea which results into identity goes under trademark category trademark can be marks on goods it can be service marks or certification trademarks collective marks well known marks trade names etc i i have shown you i am i am trying to show you all these examples with some pictures it can be a word mark or a device mark even certification mark a coca cola bottle if you look into that the design and the dimension uh, the color the pattern by which it appears or by which it is sold in hyderabad or in bhubaneswar or in jalandhar or in uh, mohali wherever you go it will be one and the same that itself reflects its quality its quality and identity so that is how a trademark can be registered or protected and here in this slide i try to show you a good number of examples for trademarks for the products or the goods or services which we do come across in our day to day activities starting uh, from our toothbrush to the toothpaste to many others you can find all these things now with this trademark concept there is also a great threat by way of bringing in deceptive marks in the mar market i think many of us would have already experienced a kind of deceptiveness with respect to water bottle you buy a water bottle feeling that it is bisleri or kenle but after after some time you realize that it is not the original brand yes or no i think most of us might have already experienced this this all this is happening only because of ip if ip is not there there would not have been any deceptiveness 
So therefore, one has to be very, very careful. Now let us look into what are called copyrights. Copyright is a legal term describing rights given to creators for their literary and artistic works. Here the example I have taken is uh, J.K. Rowling holding on Harry Potter. You might be wondering, why is it that I'm using the same picture again examples yes many examples, but i'm using only the same example again yes because jk rowling to be more richer than queen elizabeth because of this reason i am using the same and again this itself indicates the impact of ip queen elizabeth is rich at part or life at one stage of her life she was about to uh, end her life. She was. She has attempted for suicide, but luckily she could survive. And initially, at least about ten to fifteen publishers have denied to publish her novel Harry Potter. But now, it's a huge success. And any kind of works related to literary works, textual materials, audio materials, dramatic works, artistic works, architecture, advertisement, maps, technical drawings computer programs, databases, reference works, even the newspapers, all these can go under copyright. And here are a few more examples. Banner or a notification or, or cover page of a book or poster of a cinema, cinema poster, cartoon or a painting, or a sculpture, all these can go as copyrights. Even this musical composition, cinema, cinematography, textbooks, when the brochures, the, the brochure that you made for this program, yes, you need not specially protect it. Once you made it, yes, it is it, it itself got some kind of protection by way of copyright. So this is the impact of copyrights. Now let us discuss what are called geographical indications. Name or sign used on goods originating from specific geographical origin and possessing qualities, reputation, or characteristics that are essentially attributable to that place of origin are called as geographical indications. Likewise, Darjeeling tea, Mysore silk, Mahabalishwar strawberry, Darwar peta, Nagpur oranges, Agra peta, Kanchipattu sari. There are so many. Alepi coir, Naga mircha, Scott whiskey from Scotland, Pisco from Peru, Nashi grapes, Kashmiri Sozani craft. And likewise, as on today, in India, there are about 430 geographical indications. Tamil Nadu is the state with highest number of geography indications in our country. But at the same time, each and every state from our country has got decent number of geographical indications. I, I, I may not be knowing the exact numbers of GIs from uh, Punjab, but yes, there are about more than 20 geographical indications from Punjab. What can go under GI? Any kind of agricultural product, foodstuff, wine and spirit drink, handicraft, clothing, or any other industrial product. All these can go as geographical indications. And you might be, you might be knowing about Hyderabadi biryani. It is very famous. I don't know whether Hyderabadi biryani is also available in Jalandhar or not. Hopefully, it might be available in Jalandhar. Hyderabadi biryani. But believe me, once you go to a restaurant and take Hyderabadi biryani, you will feel that yes, you are really happy. But in reality, that is not Hyderabadi biryani. People will serve you, serve biryani as Hyderabadi biryani. Believe me, if the biryani is only as Hyderabadi biryani, so that is the impact of GI. But in India, controlling all these aspects is very, very difficult. So when I say Nagpur orange, Oranges grown in Nagpur are only called as Nagpur oranges. Or you may ask me, sir, what about if I if I bring a plant, orange plant from Nagpur and I grow it in Jalandhar? Once it grows, it, it will yield those oranges. I may call them as Nagpur oranges. Then my answer would be no, because the climatic conditions under which that plant has grown and yielded oranges are entirely different to those, those that of Nagpur. So here, geographical identity plays a 
very very important role and india being a country with unity in diversity not only by means of language not only by means of tradition not only by means of culture also by means of geographical uh, uh, difference uh, geographical differences or climatic conditions it serves as a huge potential for for us to come up with large number of geography indications and with this india makes a huge business portfolio now let us look into what are called industrial designs the idea if it results into then that can be a industrial design or or aesthetic aspect of an article referring to 3d or 2d features such as shape surface pattern lines or colors generally this kind of ip is applied to products of industrial handicraft means watches jewelry houseware electric appliances luxury items weight architectural structures remember one thing industrial design does not protect any technical features of the article to which it is applied to for example lux soap i am showing there are so many varieties of soap lux is there live boy is there prc is there marco is there uh, patanjali is there shri shri is there, there are so many varieties the purpose of soap is one and the same whether it is lux or live boy but look at the design because of their design differences in their design there are different brands within lux there could be several designs again and each design is again a different brand so this is how a industrial design is protected look at the examples of consumer products starting from the toothbrush oral b is there ajay is there colgate is there likewise so each toothbrush is a, is a different design so therefore it is protected water bottle same 1 liter water bottle kenle bisleri aquafigia aquarina or himalaya water quantity is same price might be almost all similar but the bottle design is different that is where they have their impact in the market and even pharmaceutical products textile and jewelry many people you might all be wondering how come the number of jewelry shops in the market are increasing like anything i came to bhuvaneshwar about 2 years ago in 2019 there were about in in our area there were about four or five jewelry shops by but in two years i think now there are about 15 jewelry showrooms it is all because of ip it is all because of ip because the kind of designs that you get in one jewelry shop will not overlap with the designs from other shops so therefore they have unique or different kinds of designs you won't get any identical design in two different shops it is all because of ip so likewise industrial design is applicable to each and every aspect even the clothes that we are wearing they are protected by industrial design the the specs that we are wearing or the table the furniture or the water bottle or the mobile phone that we are using or the pen pencil even the eraser each and everything is protected under industrial design category so now let us look into what are called trade secrets if i have an idea if you can maintain it as a secret and do some business it can go as a trade secret i have listed here four examples the formula of coca cola is a trade secret as and today because it has been invented in 1886 since then it is a trade secret KFC original recipe is also a trade secret. Spray lubricant and Google Page rank algorithm. And you here all IPs have limited period of protection, except for trade secret. This has two. Uh, this has two sides. Like each coin has two sides. It has two sides. One is the most positive side. The other one is the most negative side. Positive side is. if you can really able to maintain the secrecy then this is the most powerful form of ip because you can you can get benefits as long as you could you can maintain the secret secret see now 1886 and now we are into 2022 if they have filed a patent only 20 years but because it is a trade secret they are enjoying the rights and they are enjoying the benefits and the negative side is 
once it is not a secret once you disclose the secret to others then it is gone case that is the most negative side of trade secret so therefore finding good number of trade secret from india i think it is very very difficult the reason we all are very much aware of we feel that we are maintaining the secrets but generally we don't do so i now patents a patent is a contract between the government and the inventor in simple terms we can define the patent as a contract between the government and the inventor for which government gives the inventor right to exclude others from making using or selling selling the invention for 20 years that means when you file a patent you will have a signal which is a red signal if someone wish to exploit your work you can hold that signal no red signal is there they cannot do so this right you will get for your patent provided if you register your invention at the patent office and in simple terms we can describe the patent document as techno legal document we all are very much efficient in contributing to the technical aspects of the document being a researcher or being a faculty or being a scientist but coming to the legal part i think we face a great difficulty and another important part is integrating this technical and legal part to make it as a to bring it as a complete document that is the most toughest task and many a times researchers and academic academicians do not uh, try to take any risk to file patents it is because of this reason publication it is only a technical aspect you can very well you can contribute to it but patent it has got both technical as well as legal and legal part is very difficult to us integrating technical and legal is even more difficult so we don't do but believe me if you can have some decent learning on ip you can easily convert your research works into patentable outcomes by doing so it is like 1 plus 1 offer for the same work you will get a patent followed by a publication and it's a conditional grant it has balance of rights and obligations always subject to other laws of the land and it is always granted to the owner of the invention or their assignee and here are some great inventions that the human kind has witnessed along with the inventors i look at this slide wheel to vehicles early human being has come up with a invention of wheel the wheel this one left hand side is very primitive i think today in this generation no one will be happy to use this but now we are into advanced era it is because of this primitive invention all this could happen today so therefore this is an example for innovation path it starts somewhere and as from generations to generation it will see a great improvement and progress so that the outcome will be an advanced product or advanced technology and this is the history of cell phones 1982 they used to be like this then 84 89 92 2002 2 4 5 7 10 now we all know by 2020 or even it is very much advanced and in each and every stage of uh, the progress of mobile industry ip is there either directly or indirectly now let us look into this example i kept the title as ip all in one take the example of washing machine the appearance whatever appears to our eye is a design it can be protected as industrial design the body of this washing machine is a industrial design the user manual is protected as copyright the brand or the name or the logo of the company is a trademark and then the engine drum and its technical functioning they are protected under copyright so here a single product can associate with more than one type of intellectual property likewise the coca cola coca cola name or the brand or logo is a trademark 
ring pull can is a patent as i told you formula or composition is trade secret the image and content is a copyright and you may get coca cola in different bottles all those different designs are under industrial design category and here is a slide on ip office structure of ip offices in india there are four patent offices located at four metro cities mumbai kolkata chennai and delhi kolkata is the headquarter design wing is uh, is at kolkata trademark registry at these four of uh, at these four cities and also at ahmedabad geographical indications registry is there in chennai copyrights at delhi and again there is a new kind of ip introduced very recently it is called as semiconductor integrated circuit layout design mostly for software people that office is there at delhi and there is one training center which is called as rg and iipm located at nagpur all ip practices are under the control of government of india and here is an example which make which makes us realize the impact of ip ring pull can the inventor has licensed this system to coca cola during the validity of the patent the inventor used to obtain 148000 uk pounds per day on royalty each day they used to get 148000 uk pounds same that inventor is like me who is very lazy he has invented something but he don't want to pursue it so he gave it to someone they started working on that they made huge benefits and maybe about 5 to 6% of the, their benefits were given to him that 5 to 6% itself is about 148000 uk pounds just imagine how much money coca cola would have made by using this invention so it's an example of power of ip now look at this very recently a 7 year girl from tamil nadu i believe she has filed a patent on automatic multifunctional life rescue flood house as and today she is the youngest patent holder of our country when a 6 or 7 year girl can get a patent i think we all can definitely contribute in this direction before her this boy rideshwar singh bhati from rajasthan he was the youngest patent holder because he got a patent at the age of 9 but now she got it at the age of 6 or 7 and this boy has invented six variant uh, six variant player of variant player of chess i think we are about 80 people here if we get bored we can buy one chess board from him all 65 people can play chess no need to buy no one could practice if someone has to practice means they have to pay some royalties to him they have to take permission from him that is this is the power of ip and why america is called as super power if you happen to visit america please visit its patent office the patent system added the fuel of interest to the fire of genius even abraham lincoln he himself has got a patent i haven't failed i have just found 10000 ways that won't work thomas alva edison he has got 1093 patents even as on today this is a record for an individual tesla has got about more than 350 or 400 patents but he, he has got 1000 patents even tata nano has got about 40 patents we feel it as not a not a very successful model right but even it has got about more than 40 patents and from here i very quickly i'll show you some patent patented inventions modern zipper was a patented invention in 1891 itself on the right hand bottom there is a patent number you can very well note this number i also search in google patents you can get the comp- 1862 the first machine gun was patented the creams here and there it's an invention of 
and the first motor carriage was invented in 1901 by henry ford patented path on because somehow this generation is suffering with lack of appreciation so therefore we need not wait for anyone to appreciate us just buy this instrument place it on your shoulder it will say, it will say very good very good very good excellent whatever you want you can tune it it will keep on appreciating you see the kind of advancement these uh, countries like america or japan could think of it is because of systematic i practices they could evolve as the super powers steve jobs has been awarded about 200 patents since his death See, and today so many are surviving. Out of the many, many of them are not affected. They are affected. We don't think of contributing towards IP. But this person, even after his death, he could able to get about two hundred patents because the ideas that he could generate while he was surviving were so powerful that his successors are working on them, or his followers are working on them and converting them into useful applications. so this is the power of a potential idea and here is an example from india this person has filed first patent in india in the year 1856 you can see the uh, front page facsimil of the first specification and drawing for grant of exclusive privilege in india during those times the terms like patent or intellectual property were not in use all these terminologies are new but the practices are not new practices are very old it they are like this ancient greek greeks in 500 bc itself used to grant protection to their inventions that means ip practices are not modern or not new practices the practices are very old the, the terminology that we are using today they are new why ip or patents are so important more than 80% of technical inventions or technical works will only appear in form of patents there are about 150 million patents as on today worldwide and every year about 4 lakh new inventions are being added to this existing library and all these patent documents are without copyright you can freely download them you can use them for r and d purposes you can very well use them also so this is the importance of ip now very quickly i'll just show you the global ip scenario as well as uh, i will relate that with respect to indian practices here is a slide on top five offices accounting to 85% of the total filing total patent filings worldwide china files about more than 45% of patents in the world followed by us japan korea epo india is nowhere in the list and here are the exact numbers china files about Uh, near about 15 lakhs patents per year us about uh, 6 lakhs then japan korea around 2 2 2.5 lakhs look at india we file only 56000 patents but our population is about 130 crore 130 crore people contributing to only 56000 patents so therefore we are very poor and out of this 50000 56000 believe me more than 35000 patents were filed by foreigners in india like we file patents in us and in other countries foreigners can also file patents in india out of this that 56000 35000 patents are filed by foreigners in india that means indians are filing only about 15 to 20000 patents per year and here is the reflection maharashtra files about near about 4000 followed by tamil nadu karnataka delhi telangana likewise so from punjab every year uh, there are about 300 to 400 filings but now there is a very very decent contribution from chandigarh university if i am not wrong look at this chandigarh university alone has filed more than 300 patents in the year 2018 19 i think all universities and higher educational institutions in our country if they follow if they take chandigarh university as an inspiration certainly in coming years we can see 
our position in top five patent file filing countries. I really appreciate Chandigarh University. A single university could able to contribute more than three hundred patents in a year. All IITs combined, they used to file only. They they are filing about five hundred patents. And when it comes to publications, I think we are all, we all are very happy because. number 1 and 2 and their percentage share is also very high so that means the countries like china and us they are working towards publications patents technologies products and the brands but we are only working towards making some decent publications after that we are not putting any efforts and that is where a great different lies different that is where a great difference lies they are called as superpower and whenever we go to the market all the brands are foreign brands all the technologies are foreign technologies and even if you find some indian technologies or indian brands we don't trust them and this is this is how we can correlate our performances with the global performances and if you look at china's contributions in 2005 China used to file only 2500 international applications only 2500 in 2005 but by 2019 it has become number 1 with more than 58000 international filings in 15 years from 10th position it came to it came up to first position but india neither we are in top 10 in 2005 nor we are in top 10 in 2019 so that means we are not really making a decent progress with respect to ip but now we are in the age of invention so there is no other go for this generation we have to contribute towards ip otherwise in coming years the whole the entire globe may they may forget us they may ignore us also yes it is quite possible unless you perform no one will try to recognize you so therefore creativity is very much required of course many of us from indian context are having high levels of creativity but the the main limitation is we don't apply our knowledge and creativity for its outcome for its potential outcome and when we talk about creativity all humans have the potential to think and create whether you are an indian or a foreigner whether you are from this place or that place whatever it may be all humans can think and create a survey says each one of us is a born inventor and our mind can think about 60000 to 80000 it can generate about 60000 to 80000 thoughts per day that means we have a potential to generate these many thoughts but unfortunately none of these thoughts are converted into potential ideas only those ideas which can be workable to convert them into useful applications are required so just ideas you do not see any success they are no use at all they are they are of no use at all they just end up end up idea they end up as ideas only but whenever you feel that your idea has got some potential in that case you should definitely own your idea by way of ip protection otherwise someone else will definitely own it and when you have an idea it may lead to any of these things i think i don't know how many of you can uh, can answer uh, can, can come up with the answers to these two pictures your idea can lead to any of these two they are either the dis either a discovery or a invention discovery is something which is already there in the nature maybe you are the first person to show it to the world that is how you get all the credit like this theory of relativity theory of gravitation all these are discoveries and invention is something 
विच इज ए सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम दट यू फेस सो वेन यू वेन देर इज ए रिक्वायरमेंट वेन देर इज ए नीड वेन देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम यू ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फाइंड सम सोल्यूशन ऑल दीज सोल्यूशन आर कॉल्ड एज इन्वेंशन एंड फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम फेस इज कॉल्ड एज इन्वेंशन एनी improvements over the existing solutions are called as innovations and look at this is it a discovery or invention if someone can quickly answer in the chat box i'll be i'll be i'll be more happy is it a discovery or invention theory of bio and c archimedes principle it's a discovery and look at these two things this gentleman from chatisgarh he has invented a motor cycle ambulance and these are very creative teachers they have utilized the space under flyovers in metro cities and volvo has come up with three point seat belt in 1951 they filed a patent later on they thought human life is more important than making money so therefore they kept it open every company started using the three point seat belt but when it comes to india we always feel that we were very great our contributions were so advanced in ancient times but what is happening now we don't know sometimes we feel that we are struggling we are lagging behind yes listen look at this slide please this slide we feel that the kind of bias that we study they are the practice they are the western practices which have come to india believe me it is not true if you go go to our uh, heritage temples or other places there are so many carvings on the walls see this see her accessories the, these are the pictures taken from konark or some tamil nadu temples these are about 1000 or 1200 year old temples even during those days itself they used to carve all these things that means india was already a advanced country in those times but unfortunately after some generations that connection has that connect that connection could not be maintained because of that there is a gap. we are into a great suffering unfortunately in new generation the indian practices are going in this direction client as why did you do this manager says moving the rock is not in the scope of our work so we have limited ourselves so therefore our practices are also very much limited and even the 3d printing the concept of 3d printing that we are talking today as a modern concept or modern technology is not really advanced already our our indian practice our ancient our ancestors they could do it so therefore ideas creativity i converting into useful applications were already into in today now we have to take this practice with a greater note here i will show you some he has developed or invented a remote control toilet bed system which is for the bedridden people a welder by profession he is not a phd he is not a msc he is not a btech he is not mba nothing he is just a welder and he has he has won national innovation prize so this is the power of idea chotu kul in india more than 70% of our population are He is not in a position to afford for modern uh, refrigerators. So, chotu cool, very compact refrigerator, and then bicycle sprayer, a rural innovation. It's an example of rural innovation. All these examples, whatever I am showing here, they were also filed for patents. Okay. So, therefore, research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. Very very general statement, right? Ideas are common. 
inventions are rare and all are capable of generating large number of ideas but unfortunately we are not trying there trying to convert them into inventions we need to focus in this aspect and this could be possible only if we can practice this wisdom lies not in the amount of knowledge acquired but in the degrees of its application generally we are always very happy just by gaining some knowledge and by some experience we just we are very happy we say i, I am so experienced i have i have great knowledge i have then I, i read so many books but what is the use if we cannot convert our knowledge into some application there is no use at all it will just remain as a knowledge and the western countries or the developed countries they are converting their knowledge into application not only their knowledge they are also converting knowledge of others into applications that is the reason why they could make a very very decent progress and emerge as superpowers so therefore knowledge experience and creativity yes we we have all these three qualities among us but unfortunately we are not integrating them so once we start but integrating knowledge and ability then we can definitely contribute to great ips but at the same time we are also lacking uh, we are also lacking with this when we are physically present but mentally absent this may happen in online or offline classes when i was a student i used to do this i was i was a student teacher used to teach something but our mind will be somewhere else and now i am a teacher i am experiencing this with my students and people say because of covid all classes are online so this might be even more common but i believe even if whether it is online or offline this is a major threat to our practices we sh- we need to come out of this and the other one is the team work uh, somewhere i read a survey says indians are poor risk takers but credit seekers and safe keepers poor risk takers but credit seekers and safe keepers we generally don't want to take the risk but unless you take the risk you are not going to achieve anything so therefore we need to take risks to do something great and always we need to we need to work in teams a teamwork can lead to a great success because future wars will not be fought over territories but definitely on over ownership and exploitation of ideas we might have seen so many wars maybe starting from alexander to purushottam war yes alexander and porus this was one of the famous war then so many others but believe me in coming years no such wars will happen of course we are seeing a war between russia and ukraine now but this kind of wars will be very limited wars will be over ownership exploitation of ideas likewise samsung and samsung and apple there was a fighting between them even now there are so many ip wars are going on and here are some of the activities which we do perform at our organizations uh, as a practice of integrating ip with our research and academic uh, works and almost all we have come to the end of our session innovation is very very important for all of us for an individual for an organization and also for a country because it is the innovation which distinguishes between a leader and a follower india has been a following up country these days but now we need to emerge as leaders and everything starts with an idea an idea which is a smart idea specific measurable achievable realistic and timely if we can generate these kind of ideas certainly we can make a huge difference in our approaches a man may die nations may rise and fall but an idea lives on lives on forever we all know alexander the great akbar the great shivaji the great ashoka the great likewise so many great people are were there but today they are not there in those days greek persia were the greatest kingdoms or greatest countries but now they are not the greatest but look at the idea it will survive all the time it will live forever 
likewise 1g 2g 3g 4g now we are into 5g who knows in coming years there could be a 100th g or 1000th g yes all this could be possible because of a potential idea and this will be the impact of a idea which will reflect a leader versus follower so countries like us japan are in this position but india is as such india is not in this position we are at this position only because always we prefer to perform some following up activities rather than doing some leadership activities so therefore this is the impact and uh, to 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 contribute in strengthening ip ecosystem recently we have initiated a program called as maitri mentoring academic interventions for technological research and innovation because being a r&d institute in 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 our country we thought we should definitely support uh, possible institutions who will be willing to associate with us so then we floated this program here we always try to associate with higher academic institutions uh, to contribute towards uh, improving our innovation ecosystem by now uh, we have associated with about 25 you know 25 colleges or universities across the country and i just thought of sharing this information with you if interested your college can also write to us so that we can associate through our maitri program and we can do some uh, joint research and academic activities and here i thought i'll i should show this slide uh, memorable interactions with some of the eminent uh, scientists from our country you can find some great chemists in here professor cnr rao professor gordon mehta who if if someone is from organic chemistry then you all might be knowing him professor gordon mehta one of the greatest organic chemist of our country then professor desi raju dr av rama rao and i could i could i could uh, interact with them uh, very much close because of my chemistry as well as ip experiences if I, if i had if i had got only chemistry learning then i think it would have become very very difficult for me to reach to them it is because of ip i could reach to them and to govardhan mehta i helped them i helped him to get his two patents as and today he has got only two patents i wrote those two patents and even he was very happy and at that time he told me one thing pavan uh, whether you believe me or not somehow our generation do not believe in the practices of ip or patents we don't like it that's why we don't do it but now the scenario is changed we we should definitely look into the practices of ip and its integration with research so with this i will uh, end my session here thank you all thank you for your patient hearing and i hope uh, we have made a decent learning thank you if you have any queries we can take them up thank you so much sir thank you so much for sharing your expertise and knowledge about uh, ipr with us so uh, i'll ask our menti institution members if they have any query or any doubt or anything they want to ask from the eminent speaker they can raise their hands if anybody is interested you can directly interact with the sir, with sir yes sir yes, you can raise any query or you can yes. also post in the chat box yeah uh, otherwise you can uh, write in the chat box if you have any question or raise your hand hello yeah please good afternoon one and all present in this workshop i am professor ravinder convener iic government college roper and the uh, explanatory talk which was given by the eminent speaker was itself so engrossing that uh, i think we are not left with any questions i really want to thank him for such an elaborate uh, presentation and also uh, uh, sharing with us the information regarding ipr and patents thank you so much sir thank you thank you very much
if anyone uh, from the audience wants wants to say something or wants to ask anything from the sir from sir i request the participants to kindly mute your mute themselves please I think, sir, there are no more queries. Fine, fine, no issue. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, one thing is there in the chat box. May you please explain what is the process of getting copyright? Huh, process of getting copyright in the sense um, you need to uh, see uh, for copyright as such, uh, it is not mandatory to register. Even if you don't register also, it will be on your name only. In case if you uh, if you if you come across any legal obligation, always registration is preferable. For that, there is a procedure. Uh, you need to visit uh, uh, Indian Patent Office website. There, uh, the complete procedures are given. There will be some forms which you need to fill them, and then whatever uh, for whatever work you wish to file, a, make a copyright. All the uh, all the written part or the uh, the pictorial part you need to. Uh, you need to prepare it as per the guidelines given by the patent uh, given by the ip office then you need to submit them i think the registration fee for copyright is around 500 rupees very economic once you register within uh, 3 to 6 months it will be uh, it will be like uh, you will get the receipt of its grant okay uh, thank you sir so uh, now we are on the end of this um, uh, event so I would like to uh, invite our head of the department, Dr. Manju Sahani, for her vote of thanks. So over to I you. I think Manju. there is one more query. I think please make a session on the process of filing IPs. No, no, I think not only in future. I think on day three, 14th of uh, this month, uh, there's a session on patent filing. Okay, process of patent filing. Yes, okay, sir. I think uh, if you attend that, uh, you will get complete details on patent filing aspects. Because see, as such, uh, from our side, we don't file uh, copyrights generally. Very few copyrights will be there, but patents, yes, and trademarks also. A decent number of trademarks will be filed. Okay, we we can cover patent filing in uh, on fourteenth March. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we have two more sessions. Uh, one is on twelfth. That is tomorrow, and one is on Monday. That is on 14 March. Yes, sir. Uh, so thank you so much, sir. So um, I request now uh, Dr. Manju Sani, head PG Department of Chemistry, for her uh, vote of thanks. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Narendra. A very good afternoon to one and all. At the outset, on behalf of KME IIC and PG Department of Chemistry of Kanya Mahavidyalaya, the Heritage and Autonomous Institute. I extend my hearty thanks and gratitude to our eminent speaker, Dr. T. Paman Kumar, Senior Scientist, CSIR, IMMT, Bhuvneshwar, for gracing the occasion. Dear sir, we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence. Your years of its search and your ability to present the subject in such an interesting way produced memorable moments for us. You discussed IPR, its importance and impact in a very, very simple manner. We are truly grateful for the time and effort you took to share your thoughts and experiences with us. We really hope that our paths cross again and collaborate for such interactive sessions. Wholeheartedly, I must thank our principal ma'am for her support and guidance for organizing such events. Thanks to all teachers, who attended this interactive session. My heartfelt, heartfelt thanks to the students from all over India for active participation. Thanks to one and all again. Thank you, thank you very much. And I wish, uh, uh, I wish uh, to see some decent uh, IP contributions in coming years from your college and other institutions. And sir, we are very glad to know that you are also from chemistry subject. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. And sir, I, I just want to tell you that uh, from our institutions, more than 15 IPRs have been registered. Wow, great. Uh, IPs in the sense copyrights or patents? Uh, sir, uh, there are two patents mm -hmm. uh, from computer science department and uh, about 14 to 15 copyrights from oh. the designing department. Very good. I really appreciate it. Yes. And uh, you know, like I think from September 2021 onwards, government of India has reduced uh, all uh, financial capital, like all prices related to patent by 80% to academic institutions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is one of the greatest advantage for academic institutions in our uh, in our uh, system. I think at least now there should be good number of IPs coming from academic institutions. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm really happy to happy to know about uh, 14 or 15 contributions from your college. I really yes, sir. And, and some uh, sir, some are in the pipeline. Oh, good, good. So I uh, I have also filed one patent. Okay. Um, um, from my research work so it, it will take nearly two years so one and a half year is gone so i'm hoping for the for right. that and of course granting granting is a lengthy process it, it, it may be granted after five or six years but once yes. you have filed means you, you can you can you can exploit that work you can demonstrate you can use whatever you wish you can do you can publish yes. anything you can do yes so good happy to know then so you which which area you are from which yes. So actually, I'm I'm also from chemistry, na. So uh, my research was on the uh, nanomaterials. Acha, nanomaterials. Al okay. Aluminium composites. Yes, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, so, congratulations. Sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. So thank you so much, sir, for enlightening. I think you are on mute. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, you are on mute. I think now okay. Now okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So thank you so much, sir, for sparing your valuable time. And I would like to thank our members from the Menti Institution for joining us for this day. So I hope they will join tomorrow also for the interactive session. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Shashi, sir, you can end the meeting. I'm just leaving, OK? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you all and best wishes. Thank you so much, sir. Shashi, sir. Kindly end the meeting. Shashi sir, are you there? So I, I would like to request uh, all the participants, they can leave if they want. Thank you so much. And before that, please uh, fill the feedback form. Uh, I, I'll request my team members to uh, kindly share the feedback form. Should I leave the meeting? Uh, the meeting? Um, just, just a minute, Shashi sir. Uh, feedback form, I, I think uh, nobody has shared in the chat box. Right. Okay, ma'am. Uh, just, just two minutes. Ravneet, ma'am, could you do that? Okay. So, somebody from my team, please share the feedback in the chat box. Okay, no problem. So I'll share the feedback form in the Mentor Menti group. Uh, so I request all the uh, members of Menti Menti group to kindly fill the feedback form. So thank you so much. Thank you. Shashi sir, you can end the meeting. Okay, thank you so much.